My, my. Beheading is a skill only real dolls can master. That neck meat is laced with strong bones and ten layers of prime muscles. Any last word, Dingleberry? Nah, bro. Huh? Yeah, get that boy. Huh? Dang, this mofo just broke my, my sword. Why? Why am I such a dog? I can't even die? This is such a pain. Yeah, man. So these wannabe samurai over here doing everything in their will to kill our guy, Gabi Maru. They over here trying to burn him at the stake. Like, dude, I'm not a witch. I am him. And in between executions, my guy getting interrogated by this girl. But something about this girl's calmness is throwing me off. She might just be a dog. Then we get a flashback from my guy, Gabi Maru. <laughs> Bro, I swear I cracked myself up. Anyways, yeah, the flashback. We see why I got Gabi Maru is a menace. His parents were slaughtered by the chief dog when he was a baby, and he was not phased by that junk at all. So he got taken in by the chief dog and was made a shinobi, which are these highly trained menaces. But then he tried to escape that life and was captured. Tie the balls to that boy. Like, bruh, you literally tried setting this man ablaze. What makes you think this is gonna work? Oh, dang, my bad. You keep saying you can't die and you're him, but you're resisting. If you're really him, why are you resisting? Say what, woman? So our guy, Gabi Maru. <laughs> okay, 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 last time, last time. But Gabi Maru begins explaining to this woman that he was him back in his hood and that he had to marry the chief dog's daughter. As a real dog, he felt he was losing his black Air Force energy being with his old lady. So he asked the chief dog to leave and got set up by some rats. <laughs> Perhaps I shouldn't be nosy, but I don't think a gal like you should be involved with that hoodlum. Don't you know what they call him? Yes, his name is Gabi Maru from the Iwa clan, right? Nah, his other name, Missy. Gabi Maru, the him hollow, a man who murked at least 20 dogs just when he was arrested. They say those Iwa clan boys drink the elixir of the dogs, the drink of pure black air force energy that comes from shinsinkyo region elixir of what give me a spoken gibberish but he's dangerous okay dang she's right why am i resisting i'll end it tomorrow bruh this dude must be a cat because how many lives does he have my guy steps out of boiling oil you know how it feels when even a bit of grease hits your body when you're cooking something so imagine this and this fool over huh? here then got sent ablaze. I know it smells like fried chicken out there. Dang, why can't I die, bro? Why can't we run his pockets? The arrangements are done, you glizzy goblin. I'm ready whenever. So the fat boss is taking Gabi Maru to some dungeon, it looks like. And look at this hating nigga, bro. We gonna get you this time, boy. You dead. Dang it smell like some twerk wind in this bit. So for a minute, I thought I was watching the wrong show because why is Shawty on her knees in this kinky old dungeon, bruh? And I done told y'all about them people who be getting them edits. They be some dogs. Look at her, bruh. They are underground. Where in the world is that wind coming from? We finally learned that her name is Saigiri and she is an executioner. Yamada Asai is the surname to the Yamada clan dogs who have been dog executioners for a millennia. They can execute a dog with a single blow. Okay, they not hot up. Shoes, she better be a dog. Drop a like if you think she's gonna be a dog. You're from the Yamada hood and you're a woman? Yes, I'm a woman. I'm also a dog executioner who has been sent to run your pockets. You said you were him, right? Then stop resisting. <laughs> Oh shoot, I thought we lost our boy. That bit so fast it showed our boy she was not sweet. He breaks out these weak old cuffs. Like bruh, did these wannabe samurai not see all the feats he accomplished earlier? And they really had the audacity to put these wooden cuffs on him. Anyways, old girl flash steps behind our boy Gapimaru. She must have went to Yardra and learned instant transmission with Goku. But Gapimaru downloaded that Bruce Lee DLC before the fight started and starts flipping back. Why you keep running, Mr. Him Hollow? You scared? She starts pressing him again, not even giving him a breather. But he evades that slice with ease, of course. Dodge again, huh? You know I have been slaying menaces since I was a youngin'. I can now see a person's dog level in the blade. And I can see that your dog level 
is dwindling. Huh? Why upon learning our girl Saigiri's name, has she continued to just utterly violate our boy Gabimaru? She is pressing him both with the butter knife and flaming this man with her inner soul Illuminati. Look at her. Him hollow. You lied about one thing, you know. You love your shawty. She is your ice spice and you are her munch. Huh? Who you calling a munch? See, you can tell Gabi Maru one of those people who swear they can beat up someone just because they see red. Like, look at this. Let's analyze. How you gonna come on screen sliding and even snatch the doodle boss butter knife just to get your junk parried? Now look at you. All out of stamina. You need to do some gashes or something. I'm right. Nothing wrong with being a munch. You keep resisting because that's you. You love being a munch. You know nothing about me, you scheme. I am him hollow. So our boy Gabi Maru starts having a flashback of him and his girl and he is realizing he might be a munch after all then starts trying to convince himself he's not i'm gabi maru the himalo i'm a menacing dog talk all you want i just love my shorty you can be with her huh so old girl gets to explaining that dlc that she pulled out is from the shogunate and it grants protection from everyone but it has a condition he has to go to dog's paradise a truly mysterious place of lush riches and land fertility. It is said that the elixir of the dogs is here, but everyone sent there by the shogunate has returned, packed up, and pockets ran. I came here with the intentions of recruiting a dog to go on this expedition and gain the pardon. So I'm going to ask you again, are you him? That's foolishness. That boy dies here. You asked, am I him, right? I'm more than him. I'm the him hollow. Him Jutsu 69. They ain't gotta be packing them boys up. So when did man's Gabi Maru get a Zenkai boost? Bro was barely able to scrap with old girl, but now he's over here bodying these green vest samurai with single attacks. Bro really out here trying to be like me for real. Boy ain't no way, boy. Boy ain't no way, boy. So getting back to the story, we get a flashback from Sagiri where they are explaining how dog like her clan is. And I ain't gonna lie, these Yama the clan goons are some menaces with these butter knives, bruh. Dude so clean with it, Sagiri got inspired to be a butter knife wielder as a child. They pull up to the spot and this announcer nigga over here meat riding the fat shogunate. Then he begins to explain the orders all these prisoners are gathered here to fulfill. All you doodle bobs are gathered here today to go to dog's paradise and retrieve the elixir of the dogs. Whoever brings it back will receive an official pardon DLC pack granting you protection from anything by the Shogunate. <laughs> With that, I can run whoever pockets I feel like. Hey, Gabi Maru, that's you, ain't it? I can tell by your hair. You're pretty famous. I heard you got a blue check. Of course I got that blue check. I'm him. So they get to explaining how this island ain't sweet and one of their generals got packed and they do not know what happened to him. The doodle bob criminals start rioting because they're really not no dogs and wouldn't last on that island anyway. Look at this though. If you don't want to, you can leave. Pause right here. First, dude wasn't evading any attacks from incoming enemy with those eyes on the island anyway. Bucko, you have a better chance selling a cupcake to a penguin for five dollars. And he must be dumb too, because given your circumstances as a criminal, you're getting let off way too easy, buddy. Play the clip, man. I'm out of here. Y'all niggas are weird. I'd rather go back to prison than just with me. Hey, oh. What I tell y'all, they was getting let off way too easy. That cross-eyed nigga couldn't even read the fine print on the refund policy. Freak. That lame ass boy sullied my blade. Freaking NPC. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell y'all. As soon as y'all arrived, y'all were condemned to death. And refusal is punishable with those noggins of yours. So Scarface over here goes on explaining how the Yamada clan dogs would be their supervisors and all offenses you packed up just like old buddy over there hey make sure you tell him about the uh you know oh yeah y'all doodle bobs are gonna have to reduce reuse and recycle because it's too many of y'all we know all y'all ain't cold like that what does reduce mean brother you heck if i know y'all are some npcs i swear can't you see who wants us to run them fades okay now confusion has struck me where the heck did you get this absolute chewbacu tensei of a rock from oh yeah and make sure them hands stay tied up, y'all boys. <laughs> you, you a zesty one for that, my boy. The all-out Royal Rumble starts. 
people over here getting RKO, DDT, boulders to the face, and I got Gabi Marius over here stuck in the main menu changing his settings. Like, move, my guy. Don't you see all this absolute hooligan activity taking place? You can absolutely tell from these fighting panels who the dogs are and who are the doodle bobs. Look at the kink master over here talking about some. Ooh. You don't get to see such young muscle collide often these days. Dang, this nigga on some kink level 9000 type stuff. So who's got the red seals? Red seals? Oh my goodness. Don't tell me, bruh. Oh. Oh, you mean those niggas who were stamped at some dogs? I knew it, bruh. The dog to doodle bar ratio was off. They was just trying to eradicate the low tier criminal population. And then my guy gets to naming the starting five for the Golden State Criminals. Feeling overwhelmed? I'ma go ahead and break it to you. You not cut like that. Mm. Your butter knife not sharp mm. and your daddy musty. Mm. Okay. I see where she gets the roasting skills from. These Yama the goons, bruh. What can I say? I guess through all the chaos, these hooligans thought they could press Sagity. Uh. Is this Demon Slayer or what? Because when did she unlock her breathing style? Man, why we out here slaughtering each other, bro? Y'all so out of pocket? Shut your mouth, plebe. Hey, you there. Off this man and we'll let you go. Don't do it, my boy. I'll kill you. I thought you were against the killing. I am, but y'all are some doodle bobs. I wouldn't be able to reason with y'all. Yeah, so this man, Gabi Maru, definitely no! lives up to his name. This man over here just brutally violates <laughs> these low tears. Then it cuts to him murking some dudes as the sun is setting, my which tells me hurt. he has been tarnishing uh, these fools for at least some time now. Look at the Kool-Aid drip off his hands. They didn't gave this man an edit. Certified menace. Why did bro flick his hair like that? Tell me why all these white hair anime characters just be so light skinned. My guy Gabi Mara was so smooth with it though. He done rizzed up Sagerty. Got her over here crying. We're gonna call this that unjumpable riz. Man gets to naming the rest of the criminal lineup. And look at old peanut off the proud family head, boy. You dingleberries will travel to the island by boat. And y'all will find the elixir of the dogs. And whoever does this will earn their freedom. Make sure y'all have a trip on Dog's Paradise. <laughs> Ah, shoot. Time for some backstory no jutsu. Wait, why they got their weapons out? Oh, shoot. They doing man's dirty. What the freak? <laughs> the chief dog definitely must have drunk the elixir of the dogs. So that crazy backstory fades away. And now I got Gabimaru and old girl have made it to the island finally. And off rip, I already know this whole island not sweet. Way too good to be true. Look at Sagardy over here enjoying herself like she's on vacation at Cancun or something. This place is freaking weird. I can tell any doodle bob who isn't prepared is going to get packed up. Hey, who told you to undo those cuffs? First off. Why haven't these mofos learned these weak ass cuffs don't be working on these menaces in anime? You can't be restraining the dog within now. Uh. But anyways, this kinky bit brought back the cuffs. She starts putting the cuffs on our boy and mid convo my guy got snuck. Huh. That's one doodle bob down. Dang, that nigga didn't give me no XP. Ah, so the weak niggas be sneaking. Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. We eat those licks around this way. Twisted KO. A warrior monk who fell into a deep kink with his weapons. They say he be little bones. Hey, how come that nigga gets his hands uncuffed? Man, this guy Gabimaru is worried about the wrong thing. But I guess when you got that dog in you, it don't matter. Sagadi, why are you such a teacher's pet? Hmm, see, I told you, you be tripping. So the kinky monk over here pissed because everyone ignoring him while he's trying to run the fade. Then man's drop a dang two-ton box of kitchenware on the ground. Talking about some, your body shall experience my weapon's beauty. Bro, you are weird, dude. You know that? I really don't want to pack you up. I know my shawty wouldn't like it, but even NPCs get packed. <laughs> Hey, nigga, cuff him. Oh my gosh, bruh. This red mask guy proceeds to use some of his most powerful weapons on Gabimaru, and he is literally tanking these hits, no cap. And he's tying his hands up at the same time. The disrespect, bruh. Man, get this weak stuff out of here. Why do you have so much power? Dang, he upped that nigga. He then ultra instincts all the fallen weapons and kicks a white beard spear dead in his chest. Dang. This is pretty challenging with my hands tied. Challenging? Bro, you're literally packing him up as we speak. Eh, 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 eh. Of course, this man on his undertaking timing, so the shot didn't phase him. Ooh, I'm gonna run them pockets, boy. Well, that was quick. Hey, you live by the butter knife, you die by the butter knife. Man, what a waste. He had no DLC packs. Let's go look for the elixir now. 
Ah, the guy that was flaming Sagadi earlier made it. He probably not dying anytime soon, right? Nah, he gone. Bro literally got nibbled on like some hamburger helper. Oh my gosh, bro. People over here getting packed up on this island. And this is literally like the first couple hours of arrival. Oh, even Sagadi and Gabi Maru gets running the ones. Ooh, heck yeah. No backstory, no jutsu. So the chief dog from Gabi Maru's clan murked his parents because they wanted to leave after having him that's some real grimy is there chief dog i can't lie hey, you think i care boy and hey, who you calling boy with your old gandalf beard having that that's why your edit's trash you do know i can just edit you out of this video right all right chill bro you in yeah nigga yeah hey i told you i'm a dog too now so gabi maru is clashing with old girl now and i tell you gabi maru is working with that butter knife bro i can't lie look at the backspin slash slide out of there untouched dash back in with the flash step presser deflect then weave kick deflect bro the fight choreography chef's kiss bro fast forward and gabi maru is on top of sagadi it turns out gabi maru shawty got him coochie whip so he's basically nerfed unless he's utterly provoked so sagadi and gabi maru make up and now we're on to the gigantic samurai looking dude and Johnny Test with the bowl cut. Oh, shoot. This is just the old butterfly. Huh? What the freak? That bitch got a Tyrone <laughs> face. Ah, oh, heck no. Nah. You ain't getting me. Dang, what you doing, player? Look, cuz. That zesty butterfly had a Tyrone face. Okay, now this is where it starts to get wild. These freaking centipedes have hands for mouths. And now the Tyrone-faced humanoids began orchestrating a massive pocket running session. What in the world? These Tyrone-faced mofos just summoned the dang titan. Like, where are Aaron at? Is Mikasa coming too? Oh shoot, Gabi Maru and them getting slid on too. Bruh, tell me why I feel like this fish nigga right here got hands. He giving me those Netero statue vibes. Man gonna get to slapping them up. What in the world is that thing? I'll handle it. Man, y'all mofos crazy. 3K? 3K? Let's keep going though. We taking the Juice Mafia to the moon. Know that. Oh yeah, follow the TikTok down in the description and join the new Discord. Juice Mafia. Hidden technique. Beef. Put no crushed ice in my soda. Perky got a stuck like a holster. Uh.